Hi, uh, this is a quick tutorial on basic keyframing. Really basic keyframing. Um, so, <laughs> see how we get on, eh? I'm not exactly Mr. Animator, but we'll have a go. So, in this example, I've got um, a little refuse truck. Currently, it doesn't go anywhere. It's like it's got no petrol. Sorry, gas, being American and all that. I've got him on the proper side for Americans, so that helps, doesn't it? So, that's all great and groovy. Um, what I'm going to do, let's, let's drive him up to this house and and stop, pause, and then go to the junction. That's all we need to do. Okay, so he's currently here. Let's go to frame 50, which is like two seconds in of power time. And I'm just going to go and drag him along to this house here. Okay, so that's all good. I've got auto key switched on, so it's automatically going to make keyframes for us. And there we go. So what we've got here is he drives up and he stops. So oh yeah, that sort of works. So all I need him to do now is pause. So let's make him pause for 50 frames. So let's go to frame 100. And basically, just going to go and keyframe it again. So he should stay in the same place, shouldn't he? So let's go hit keyframe and keyframe again. So I'm expecting him to just stay the same. But you'll see that he sort of overshoots and he comes back again. So what I really want him to do is come up to frame 50, hit stop absolutely stop do not move until frame 100 where I want him to sort of start driving away when I make my next keyframe which I haven't got yet so let's have a look at these um, these fr this uh, graph of his movement He's on the blue channel he's moving along which is a Z I believe so let's go to graph editor here at the top left hand corner and we can see the position of the truck so yeah that's the original starting point so that equates to uh, here. If we go back here. Can we see where he is? Let's. Uh, here we go. Let's try and do that. There we go. So that's where he is at the moment. And he's running out of room here, aren't we? And if I go and drag him along, you can see the next keyframe's here. And well, look, the the keyframe's in the right place, but he's doing this sort of overshooty thing here. So how can we solve that? So let's have a look at doing that then. So what I really want. If he needs to stay in the same place, I need a straight line. So any horizontal line all the way across means there is no motion going on. Yeah, nothing's happening. The steeper it is, the steeper this line ends up being, the closer to vertical it is, the more the faster it's going. So at the moment it's sort of like it's like forty-five degrees, isn't it? So it's going along from minus sort of sixty-five meters down to about minus ten meters here. So what I want to do is I want to straighten this out. So there's a couple of ways of doing that. Let's go and select the keyframes here. And to select the keyframes, I'm going to right hand click with a mouse button, click and drag, and then you get a, an area where you're going to go and select some keyframes and let go. Now, do bear in mind that I've already pre selected this channel, which is my Z channel, which is my. If I go and select other channels, then you know I'll be selecting the red channel or the Y channel for movement, and nothing's really happening on that. So let's just go up with the Z channel. So right hand click click and drag, got those two selected. Now the type of spline, type of curve we're looking at at the moment is a TCB uh, curve which is a tension continuity and bias curve. You can read up on it on wiki because if I just said something it'll probably be wrong so try and find a Wikipedia on it. So let's go and set it to linear then. That sort of that should solve it. Linear means straight lines, doesn't it? So that should go kaplunk. Oh look, it fixed it. So yeah, it sort of fixes it. What happens now? If I get out of this, as I come to um, frame 50, it stops. Yeah, it doesn't go anywhere. Doesn't go backwards or forwards because you know that's what the graph's showing you. And then we're cool. So okay, that's sort of okay. The only hassle that I can see is that if we zoom in here if we can see this uh, let's put it in wireframe mode actually can we see all these little tiny ticks here each of those is a frame and they're all exactly the same distance apart that means up until this very very last frame at frame 50 this truck is travelling at well we will give it up a supposed speed of 20 miles an hour so right up to here is travelling at 20 miles an hour and on frame 51, he's travelling at no miles an hour because there's no more movement going forwards. So that to me says that that's either a very good emergency stop or he's actually hit a wall. So that's not very realistic. Like, 
realistic. Um, what we want him to do is to come to a halt, as in decelerate. We want him to uh, put the brakes on and gently come to a halt so all the garbage in the back of his truck does not go through the back of his head. That wouldn't be good, would it? That would be a bad day for being a refuse collector. That would be a really rubbish job. Anyway, moving on. Bad jokes, not incorporated. So what we need to do is have a look at this um, graph editor again. So let's go back to the graph editor. Right. So again, by default, it selects the top one. Let's go back down to Z position. So what I really want is rather than just going and then and clunk, yeah, we need it to sort of curve off, don't we? Need it to curve off. So let's go and uh, right and click these guys, just go and reselect them in case you've deselected it. Let's go and change it back to being the TCB spline. And look, we're, we're, it sort of works, doesn't it? But then it sort of doesn't work. We've got this overshoot thing, which we don't want. We don't want it to go overshoot and then back again. So let's select one of these guys and, s and let's go and change the tension for that. Rather than being zero, let's select it as being one. Hit go. Right, so what happens now, at this point, here it's slowing down. Can we see? Because it's entering, it's trying to get as flat as possible, and then it gets as flat as possible. Yeah? So we can see it's actually slowing down. So he is actually applying the brakes. So that works now. And then he does hold exactly still. And what we need him to do then is to move off again. So let's go and sort those keyframes out. So when we're looking at this now, as he comes up here, he gets slower and slower and slower. Can we see this? More and more keyframes going by, and it's hardly moving at all. You can actually see it in the viewport as well. If we go back into vertex mode, oh, maybe not the best way of seeing things. Let's just zoom in. Can we see this? Yes, you can. Right, can we see this? You've got uh, a frame is from there to there, and then there, and then there, and then there, and it gets smaller and smaller and smaller. Now, all these are actual frames. So that means it's slowing down, basically. So the, the shorter the distance between each frame means the slower it's moving. Okay, so this is okay for linear movement. We're, we're looking all right with that. So that actually does show you. Let's put this big end to show you mode. So that's good. So that's all groovy. So what we needed to do now from frame 100, because that's we have got 24, we've got 50 frames of sitting still while he's unloading the lorry. And then we're wanting to accelerate off again. So let's go and make our next keyframe. Put this one at 150. And all we're going to do is drag him off a bit. Put him up to sort of there. We'll say there. Okay. Now let's have a look at this in the graph editor. So if we go to graph editor again. And we're going to select the Z position. Ah. Okay. So we've got a bit of an issue going. We can st see straight away we've got something going on here that doesn't quite look right. So let's have a look here. So... On our hold frames between 50 and 100, he shouldn't be moving at all. But look, he's moving backwards again. So, yeah, he, he does come up to a halt quite nicely. But again, he's drifting backwards before he moves on. It's like he hasn't applied the handbrake and he's drifting down a hill before he like, sets off again. So, that might be useful. But in this case, it's not. So, let's sort that out. So, let's go to Graph Editor and go to Z for this. So, what's this one currently doing? So, this one here, we set the tension to it to 1. So let's go and set the tension to this guy to 1, because currently is at 0. Set him to 1. See what happens with that. Ah, okay. That sort of solves it, doesn't it? So what we've got here, we've got this, which is going along at a certain speed, and then decelerates and stops. Pauses for 50 frames, and then accelerates off from a stop up until till we reach the end of 150. And that, basically, is it. That's it. And that is my very, very simple keyframing exercise. Uh, I hope it helps. <laughs> if not, well, you know, I won't send you the bill. How about that? So there you go. And that is that. So uh, see you another time. Catch ya. Bye. Uh, or even bye.